Hello, everybody. I'm Fit Headache 5. Can we talk for a minute? Thanks a lot. So today we are looking at a likely Democratic pickup in a ruby red state. Roy Moore is not contest or is not conceding the race. However, if anyone told me that yesterday Doug Jones would win this, would pull this off in the state of Alabama, I would look at you and say, it's good to dream. I hope he can pull it out of his hat. Alabama voters yesterday decided on who would fill the seat vacated by Jeff Sessions after he was confirmed as Attorney General. Former Governor Bentley interestingly chose the state Attorney General Luther Strange to fill said seat. Strange and Moore were the top voted candidate, Republican candidates who advanced to a runoff. Moore ended up beating Strange, who was supported by Trump. Moore was playing on the outsider edge because of his fiery stances on gay marriage and abortion. He is part of Foundation for Moral Law, which advocates right-wing conservative social policy and is known for his refusal to remove a Ten Commandments statute and being tossed from the bench in 2003 because of it. In 2012, he was placed back on the Alabama Supreme Court because they're voted in and in April 2016 was dismissed for refusal to implement another federal court ruling this time a federal judge is ruling that gave, that gave marriage licenses to single-sex couples the Alabama Court of the Judiciary removed him removed him that time now how much of an outsider can he is can be debated because his staunch right-wing views and his rejection from the governorship in 2006 and 2010 now there is a long listery long laundry list of things Moore has done that has embarrassed Alabama you can just hop on Bing and check it out so the allegations came one after the other considering his profile especially of a person who is likely a kind of a repressed individual like the GOP that are anti-gay that get caught being gay or the ones who are uh, pro so-called pro-marriage and they end up having a, a governor bet former governor Bentley for example Bingham so his time on the court ruling against LGBTs and once being the only vote in favor of a man who victimized a four-year-old I wouldn't be surprised at all if these accusations are true many people came to the defense of Moore saying it hasn't been proven or they're prosecuting him because he's a Christian. Kind of sounds like Richard Murdoch who cried. No, literally he did cry the same thing when he was rejected by voters of Indiana for his Senate bid in 2012. People thought Moore was a good Christian and that was really their only basis for the vote. And it's sad because they don't care to see the damage that they're doing by voting for these people. The allegations came from women who were 16 at the time Moore sexually harassed them. One was 14, and I don't know how many there are, but there is a considerable number, and they all have made themselves, or most of them, I believe, have made themselves known to the public. Moore then disappeared from the campaign trail while Jones was putting together, or was crisscrossing the state with his coalition and getting out the vote the best way he could. Alabama passed a law in May of 2017 that restored voting rights of certain classes of incarcerated persons, but did not do the relevant outreach. Pastor Kent Glasgow of Ordinary People Society stepped in to fill the gap. The, this angered Moore so much that he went to Twitter. But to add insult to injury for Moore, uh, Republican Senator Richard Shelby refused to endorse Moore even though Trump and Bannon did. Peter King of New York, when he went down to Alabama, refused to endorse him as well, and RNC distanced themselves from him until the closing days of the race when they threw, um, threw their support again to him. Not only that, but Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had a whopper on his hands. If more were to be elected, he had to have a meeting about it because what next, considering all of these allegations? The results. This was a nail biter. I tried to go to sleep. I tried to make sure that I could do anything to not worry about this race. But as soon as I got some updates from friends, I was like, okay, screw this. I'm just going to wake up and just check out what's going on. So I went to Politico and there was a map that, that was showing that had shown all of the areas. Some were really deep red, some of them were kind of red, some of them were light blue, deep blue, all of that in between. I like that map a lot better. So when Jones was up uh, by 39,000 uh, votes, I said, I think this is it. I, I think he's got, I, I, I really think that Doug Jones is about to be the senator-elect of Alabama. 
But later on, as I saw the few places that needed to be counting, it was clear because most of them were Democratic-leaning areas. And it, it was, that clinched it. So I would have liked it, liked it to have been more than a point and a half, but hey, a victory is a victory. Jones built a coalition of voters to turn out and worked with the other Democrat in Alabama's congressional delegation to propel him to his victory. Cory Booker was also in on the action. Now this was a great campaign and it helped that, that black turnout was way up, closer to Obama's turnout in 2008. I feel that if we learned anything, it's that politics can and will surprise you. We learned it the hard way, us Democrats. Which, I gotta say, I'm more for like justice Democrats now. I'm watching you. I'll do videos on you guys. Further, black women help save Alabama from itself. But I hate how white voters who cast their votes for more thought they were being, that he was being persecuted for being godly. It seems that they're willing to forgive a child predator, but not the person who stepped on their new shoes in the church parking lot. Or the person, or the person that they ideologically disagree with, they'll support a racist, a bigot because he stands against abortion, but refuses to put their vote behind a man who actually got justice for four young girls who were killed by the KKK. Now, a fetus or a unborn child is a child, but four black girls killed by the KKK are somehow not children. I don't know. In essence, I feel that it is their victory, these four young these four young women, and that black women came to the rescue. In fact, when I found out that Black Lives Matter was founded by three queer black women, I thought to myself, black women are awesome. No matter how great I can be, I don't I will never get to close I will never get close to the fire, the passion, the love, the grace, the strength the flexibility of a black woman. Doug Jones won because of black women, 98% of whom supported him. Black men made up 92% of, of his voter base, and I hope that they can take this and start changing the state legislature with democratic gains. More than that, I hope they start running for local office and even in places where they may not be so-called competitive. Don't let this be a one-off note or footnote. If we can vote in our best interest, maybe we can see a black senator from Alabama, a governor, or even an attorney general. Doug Jones's election made it known that it is possible, even in ruby red Alabama. Talk to you later. Thank you so much. And if you have anything to say, uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know some of your thoughts. See you soon.